Hey guys, Earl here of Yuga Tech, and today we're gonna be explaining the wonders of 5G. 5G is the fifth generation wireless data connection which can do exponentially more than its predecessors. Imagine you could hook it up to your automobiles, house, phone, and your city without ever slowing down. This pretty new technology could probably end the era of buffering. Imagine a world where you could download your favorite series within seconds or an Ultra HD movie with its high bandwidth, low latency, and dense connections. What I'm trying to say here is the possibilities are endless. With incredibly fast speeds like this, it could mark improvement and innovation of ordinary human life as we know it. Think about if cars could communicate with each other to prevent accidents or smooth virtual reality devices that could revolutionize entertainment in general. It's some real Black Mirror stuff, but hopefully we don't go that far. Hopefully. And this could also have benefits in our industries. Imagine remote surgeries for hospitals and easy communication because of the use of millimeter waves. And I know what everyone is asking right now. How does it work? Well, to start, 5G uses new radio technology. It uses a radio frequency called sub-6, which is the same as 4G LTE, but the only difference is that 5G uses a higher amount of frequencies, which makes higher data rates from 24 GHz to as high as 86 GHz. Despite all of these, the disadvantage of having 5G is that it can only cover a limited amount of distances since this technology is a bit new and experts are still trying to figure it out. Data devices who don't have a 5G radio built in inside wouldn't be able to connect, which renders 5G's potential mm -hmm. lacking. This means in order for us to utilize 5G, our cities and devices should upgrade as well. Some concerns are health related since 5G uses microwave frequencies and it is highly dependable on small cell low powered radio access nodes that help provide services to both indoor and outdoor areas, which causes radiation. But it isn't much of a problem, since our phones or rather anything that uses Wi-Fi use the same microwave frequencies as well. And even if 5G is higher frequencies, it is widely considered by a lot of scientists as non-ionizing and make it non-cancerous. But despite these, one hard fact is we're still trying to figure it out. So what do you guys think? Is it unsafe or worth the upgrade? Will humanity be pushed so far to the edge and make our lives into an episode of Black Mirror? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit the bell icon so don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Arel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.